It's not something you see every day at Fort Riley. And for the first time ever, a cargo plane lands on an unimproved field landing strip in Fort Riley's training area. What you're seeing is a training exercise involving airmen from the Montana Air National Guard and Fort Riley's 97th Military Police Battalion. While it provides valuable training for the soldiers, this exercise also validates the airstrip's capabilities for future operations. To date, this field landing strip is one of only two of its kind on a U.S. Army installation, and expectations are that military units from around the Midwest will request to use it for training exercises. Well, I think today was pretty successful. It was nice. Uh, the Dirt LZ, it's a, it's a well-built Dirt LZ, um, and it held up really well with the aircraft, and uh, we got the, the, the training accomplished today. For this exercise, the Montana Air National Guard provided the C-130 cargo plane, a versatile aircraft designed to use short, unpaved runways in remote areas. Fort Riley's 97th Military Police Battalion took advantage of the training opportunity and provided soldiers and equipment for the practice run. The C-130 picked up the MPs and a Humvee at Manhattan Regional Airport and, with engines running, unloaded them at the field landing strip in the northwest portion of Fort Riley's training area. All this while Fort Riley's 2nd Armored Brigade Combat Team conducted live fire exercises in adjacent training areas. I believe this is the first time we've had uh, fixed wing aircraft land over here in our training areas. So this is the beginning of a joint training process that we can eventually get together with the Air Force. In addition to this exercise, night air drop operations were also conducted, further validating the airstrip's capabilities. Reporting from Fort Riley, I'm Scott Rhodes.